You know, but I mean, here's my thing. You know, Pop is racist as all hell. What kind of racist things did he say? Uh, the N word. You know, but I mean, here's my thing. You know, Pop is racist as all hell. What kind of racist things did he say? Uh, the N word. You know, but I mean, here's my thing. You know, Pop is racist as all hell. What kind of racist things did he say? Uh, the N word. The last time you heard that voice. It was in a video uh, five days ago that I put out. That is another clip from the same interview with Kendra Justice. And you hear her make the shocking statement, which actually should not be so shocking to you if you know anything about Mark Nimche and the 9-11 truck scam, which is that he's a racist. And has indeed used racial slurs. Uh, and I can tell you that I've confirmed that uh, much earlier by people who uh, knew him in New Jersey. Just like last time when we heard a clip from that interview, we find uh, Brandon Acosta repeating that lie for him. So let me bring up this private uh, TikTok messages again that Brandon sent on November 17th. Right here, in the second message, we find this uh, completely baseless accusation that I'm racist. As I said before, these messages from him contain uh, many crazy and baseless accusations, all of them coming directly from Nimchik. In an attempt to discredit and or threaten me in what scammers call turning the tables, where they uh, throw accusations against uh, the pe person who is exposing them, whether that means making uh, threats of legal action for harassment or stalking or uh, libel or etc., or just making up completely baseless accusations such as we heard before uh, about pedophilia or here mm, about racism. And uh, in response, I state the truth, as always, and once again, I use this interview from Kendra, who knows Mark and Mike Nimchik as well as anybody, as I said, having been in a very long-term relationship with Mike Nimchik. Um, and I knew that long before uh, I ever spoke to Kendra or even knew her name, because as I say here to Brandon, Look at the back of his vest. And again, if you've been following along with this story, you know exactly what it says there. This picture was taken, and I've posted elsewhere. This was taken in early April, back when I first uh, saw him uh, bend over to take the money out of his bucket. Uh, that he had scammed people of to pay for his purchases in the Walgreens on Fremont Street in Las Vegas, where I worked and where I was uh, suspicious of him really since November, but didn't have a break um, until early April when, uh, when I saw this. I eventually uh, was able to use these words Everything I ever needed to know about Islam, I learned on 9-11. And as I say, that's how I ID'd him. I recognized them immediately as a form of Islamophobic uh, hate speech, uh, anti-Muslim hate speech, until I eventually was able to tie that phrase to the 9-11 truck scam. And to this photo in which I recognized him, although now he is 10 years older and without a mustache, recognized him as none other than Mark Anthony Nimchik, um, and that's how I figured out his name. And that's how I was able to learn about the 9-11 truck scam and all the details of his past uh, crimes, which are a version of what he's was doing now and what I'd seen him doing for the past seven months while working in the Walgreens. 
So anyway, at the same time, I was able to tie him to Terry Jones, uh, to the 9-11 truck scam. If you don't know who Terry Jones is, please watch this video of Don Shipley, uh, which he made in 2011. That jerk-off pasture in Florida to get in the back of his truck, surrounded by news media cameras, and you can clearly see Mark uh, in the corner holding up one of the microphones uh, proudly by his truck, while that pastor does a rally at the 9-11 uh, site, uh, ab all about burning the Quran. In clear view of all those cameras is a SEAL Trident, SEAL Team 2, and Navy SEAL license plates. Did you ever talk about Terry Jones? Yeah. I said that Terry Jones was on his side and that Don Shipley was a liar and all this other shit. Fake Navy SEAL. Don Shipley told me all about you, my friend. Don't believe Don Shipley. Okay. And I'll be making another more detailed video about uh, Terry Jones. Captain Mark Anthony Nimchek is our friend. And he is a patriot. And how he uh, made this video, which is also in my playlist, called Dr. Terry Jones Supports... 9-11 truck. The 9-11 truck. Spoiler alert, Terry Jones is... Dr. Terry Jones is not a real doctor. And uh, not a real um, uh, man of the cloth. He's a scammer like Mark Nimchik, and that's why he got involved with the 9-11 truck scam, as we see here. And as Don Shipley talked about in that video, um, Terry Jones would uh, meet up with uh, Nimchik at the events where he would scam because they were... Um, they had a lot in common. They both were racists. They both hated Muslims. And they were both low-life con artists who um, would use this hate to target um, bigots and racists. And that's insidious because a lot of those same people also claim to be patriots and uh, supporters of the military. But another thing that Terry Jones and Nemchik have in common is their apparent fondness for this man. That's Thomas Scalgione, who, as we know, is the convicted uh, child sex predator who was Nemchik's partner in the 9-11 truck scam. And we see him here alongside, you know, self-proclaimed pastor, man of God, uh, Terry Jones. And he's defending Nimchik and blasting Don Shipley as a liar. And then finally, I want to get into the elephant in the room. Nimchik, a confirmed racist, has managed to get a lot of black men to support him. And I'm not only talking about Brandon Acosta. If you watch my videos, you know that there are quite a few. How a confirmed racist managed to get them on his side is an interesting question. And one of the few people that he has exploited to get on his side who is not black is this one, Sonny D who has uh, some pretty shocking language of his own. Speaking of the N-word, which we heard at the beginning. He's got real yes. niggas all the way around him everywhere he is, and you better watch yourself. He's got real yes. niggas all the way around him everywhere he is, and you better watch yourself. Those people were not killed for not converting to Islam. It was the World okay, Trade be ignorant, Center. All right? don't it's capitalism. You're being ignorant. You're being ignorant. You're being ignorant.